Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, this is my first hour playing around with the Han Rongda HRD747. And I have to say that my first hour is more frustration than anything else. Um, there's a lot of things on this radio that make me already, after an hour, want to tell you to avoid it. Um, first, if you have um you know eyesight that is having difficulty reading anything that's small this radio isn't for you this display is has too much information for such a small display and it's difficult to really you know know what you're doing look at the camera here an example of this is i'm in lower sideband can you see it can you see it can you see it oh look at that when i put it like you know one inch from the camera it's somewhere around here lower sideband I mean, come on. Things like that are already annoying me on this radio. Other thing is, this is possibly a first generation. Um, I've looked at people tuning single sideband, and one of the first things I will say, there are a few channels out there that are very well known that talk about receivers. You guys should really brush up on talking about receivers, okay? I've seen you guys test this and tune around with aimless, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. And so that's the other thing that um, I, I, you know, because I wanted to see what others are doing. All I see is others playing around with it. It's like, oh, and it's a good radio. It's a nice radio. Yeah, you didn't do anything. Come on, guys. Okay. Um, be serious. If you want to review a radio, know what you're doing. Because just, you know, playing around and saying, oh, look at that. And I press this button and this happens. Yeah, there's a big smiley face. Um, you could see I'm a little frustrated. Uh, the uh, Texan PL330. So here's what I want to find out. I haven't found yet any way, if there is actually a way, to see a firmware version in this radio. Because uh, I want to know if there are firmware updates that have been done over time. The reason is, if you guys follow me from a while, you know that I got the Texan PL330 portable receiver, the Chinese version, before the export, and it had flaws. The firmware version had problems, including one which was the famous reverse tuning on SSB. And I get this on this radio. This radio has reverse tuning. It doesn't tune correctly single sideband. And so, um, because it's a little off, it's difficult to really tune any stations properly on this receiver. So, you got to rely on, you know, tuning around in much bigger, um, you know, tuning steps. So, it's a little off if the stations aren't there on dot of frequency because it is slightly off frequency at the same time. So there's a little few things like that that I don't like. Uh, I am using an external MLA 30 antenna by the way right now. This is one interesting aspect of this radio. It lets you install a external antenna for tuning around. Um, let me check here, we're gonna change the mode. So uh, let's see how we can do that. Once again, this radio is dreadfully complicated also in the menus. This thing makes it so difficult to really know where you're tuning and what you want to tune to. So let's see here if I can go quickly to 7375 Radio Romania. Because single sideband is dreadfully painful to tune around and uh, I hope they have fixed that because if they haven't, and I haven't seen any proof of it because nobody does a proper video about tuning. So now it's overloaded. Let's remove this antenna. And let's see if I can get, uh, there we go. Just with the telescopic. So it's difficult to use on a telescopic, on the uh, external antenna, sorry, with overload. This works. 
Audio is very crappy. Um, Texan PL330 is a better choice. But we'll come back because this radio does more than the PL330. And that we're going to look at uh, for sure. This is what we're going to look at for sure. Uh, but <laughs> uh, yeah, this guy is not impressed right now. And uh, this definitely needs to be so much better than this is. Uh, here's a wetter band. Even the audio is kind of crappy. Uh, it's a radio that looks nice. And I really hope that a better version has come out because if it's if they're all like this, um, man, right now, this thing is not a good radio and uh, far from it. So that's my first impression after an hour. And of course, we're going to come back with uh, tuning around the bands a little more. Uh, we're going to come around with, um, you know, tuning a little bit of VHF, UHF, see the sensitivity. There's one thing I have noticed. The VHF, UHF range is less prone to FM overload, like my, the 737. So they have definitely kind of helped and fixed on that thing. But right now, uh, even though that is happening, I am far from finding this is a good radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.